Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, good evening, welcome. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Pablo. Oh, I, I, I saw your message, Pablo. Right, no, no problem. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Claudia. Good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. Hi, good evening, Norma. Okay, people, how's it going? How do you feel in the class? Today is the fifth class. Okay, so um, we are completing unit one tonight with some reading and some written exercises. Um, how do you feel in the class? A ver, ¿cómo se sienten en la clase? Vamos a ver. How do you feel in the class? Is everything okay? Is everything going well? It's okay. Okay, Mauricio, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's start the class then. I assume everybody is okay, as Mauricio said, all right? I want to do my best for making this class enjoyable. So now we are going to review and practice, okay? Today we have this unit one review and it's very uh, interesting that some English students say, um, I am good at uh, writing, I am good at reading English, but I don't understand when people talk to me, okay? Maybe you will say, mm, I'm not good at listening, I'm not good at speaking, okay? But then when, when you, uh, detect what's your deficiency or your difficulty, then you have to push over there, right? You have to press on 
uh, getting better, improving that skill. All right. Uh, es bien fácil cuando ya nos dan las cosas hechas. Ok, sí, yo sé inglés, dice, pero eh, soy bueno leyendo, soy bueno escribiendo, pero a la hora de hablar ya no me sale. O cuando me hablan ya no, no entiendo. Entonces hay cosas que eh, muchas veces nosotros damos por sentado, ¿verdad? Ah, eso ya lo vi. Ah, eso ya me lo puedo. Ah, esa, ese tema, pues sí, pero fíjense que el lenguaje es sumamente amplio, entonces es de practicar, ¿verdad? Es de practicar, ver otros ambientes, no es lo mismo eh, conocer lo que está alrededor de mí que conocer lo que está alrededor de mi compañero, ¿verdad? Porque yo no lo veo, pero si mi compañero me lo dice, yo lo voy a conocer, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso el listening es sumamente importante, para que podamos ir extendiendo, ¿verdad? El conocimiento, extendiendo incluso el conocimiento de nuestro entorno. Entonces, bueno, después de esta pequeña reflexión, espero que lo tomen en cuenta. Y si usted ya detectó en cuál de las habilidades usted tiene mayor dificultad, le animo a que practique o haga más ejercicios de esa habilidad que le hace falta, ¿verdad? Entonces, um, el día de hoy, today, we are going to listen, we are going to read, and we are going to speak, and then we are going to write, okay? Um, el orden natural de las cosas, ¿verdad? Es bien importante. Miren, el orden natural de las cosas es que primero eh, es el bebé chineado, ¿verdad? Después el bebé gatea. Después de gatear, empieza a pararse, ¿verdad? Después de pararse, empieza a caminar. Pasito, pasito. Y después ya no se detiene a correr, ¿verdad? A correr. Entonces, lo mismo con nosotros. El primer tema... Era como que estábamos chineados, ¿verdad? El segundo tema, ya vamos gateando, ¿verdad? Ya vamos. El tercer tema, ya vamos pininos. Luego, el cuarto tema, ya, ya caminamos un poquito, ¿verdad? Aunque sea tan valiente. Eh, ahora sí ya vamos a caminar, ¿verdad? Ahora sí ya vamos a caminar, ya no agarraditos, sino que ya ustedes solitos. Vamos a ver entonces. Let's start. Let's start. We're going to start with um, this um, exercise. It's a listening exercise. So please, everybody, you are not going to read right now. You are going just uh, to listen to it. All right. Just give me one second and I will share, share the audio. This is a woman. Um, I mean, is this? it's a woman's story and we want Good to evening, know teacher. about her work experience. Hi, Vladimir. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. So allow me to. Okay. Lo voy a poner una vez, ¿ok? Y me voy a ir a tomar la asistencia, ¿ok? Mientras yo estoy tomando la asistencia, usted trata de recordar un poquito de lo que escuchó, ¿ok? Cuando regreso yo de, de contestar, perdón, de llamar la asistencia, entonces platicamos acerca del audio, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true 
because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. He worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. I will play it. I mean, play this again. All right. I will play it again. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molza for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. He worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Sure, your my microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one second, I'm going to call the roll. So please say present when you hear your name and uh, please turn on your cameras. That's a requirement from Enzo Forb, all right? We don't want day to call us to attention, all right? Okay, is everybody ready? Uh, by the way, what date is it today? What's the date today? February the 3rd. Very good. Today is February the 3rd. Good. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, right? Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present, teacher. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Claudia Maria Guerrero Menjibar. No, perdón, Mejía, Mejía, Mejía. Okay, I'm Present. sorry. Okay. Um, Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present teacher. Okay. Daisy Elizabeth Re, uh, Recinos Álvarez, perdón. Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Um, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher, I am driving in this moment. Okay, no problem. Please, eyes on the road. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. <clears throat> Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher, present. Okay, Mr. Luis Javier, right? Uh, Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. No, Mariana tonight. Not yet. Marina Jansi Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. <laughs> Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Mr. Magaña, aren't you there yet? Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Thank you. 
Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present, okay. present teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Good evening. Present, Chair. Okay, great. Thank you very much, everybody. So now let's go back to the audio. To the audio. What was the audio, audio about? Did you hear a name? What was the woman's name that they are talking about? You remember? Her yeah, her name was Nicole. Yes, Nicole. Mm -hmm, Nicole. And what were they saying about her? She was graduating university. Oh, yes. Uh huh. From what university did she graduate? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, okay, no problem. No problem. We're going to listen to it again. And uh, do you remember any other piece of information? She studied from 2005 to 2011. Oh, all right. Yeah. Her career, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. She Correct. Studied at UCA. Great, Claudia. Yes. At UCA. It was the place. Mm -hmm. Any other piece of information you got? She's from El Salvador. Oh, yes. She's from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And she was born in. I think she she's uh they said San Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. She yeah. was she was working during six years in Morsa. Six? Uh is it uh well, I, I, I I'm not so sure about the six, okay? But let's pay attention on that data, okay? okay. Uh-huh. Someone was going to say something? No? Okay, let's play it again and let's listen. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. He worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. All right, who is Gonzalo? Who was Gonzalo? What did they say about Gonzalo? Is the Nicole manager? The, I'm sorry, can you repeat it? Is the Nicole manager? Nicole's manager? Well, mm, it could be, but not really, not really. It's something completely different, okay? It's something completely different. Maybe when she was working at Molsa, maybe oh. he was the manager. Uh, I can say that, but if you pay attention, you will see who is Gonzalo, okay? So let's go to the reading. Our reading is on the manual, okay? And in the manual, you are going to find that on page 14, okay? On page 14, but I'm going to share the screen with you for you to check it. And also we are going to uh, complete it, okay? We are going to complete all the blank space. Um, I think we may go to the breaker room to do it by yourselves, all right? I will send the, um, the audio through WhatsApp, all right? What page, Tisha? It's page 14. 14. Mm -hmm. I don't know 
to this just a little. Yeah, we can go to the breakout room and do that. Okay, there it is. You have the audio there. Okay, ahora, uh, I'm sorry, now what we're going to do is we're going to the breakout room, you complete the paragraph, and then you practice the reading, all right? So you are going to do three activities in one. Let's go to the breakout rooms and let's do it. It doesn't matter. We are not going to do it just uh, by couples. We are going to do groups, okay? We're going to make some groups to work in teams. Hmm. Sometimes my eyes also. Oops. Okay, there you have the, the capture and also you have the audio. So let's go to work. You complete the paragraph with the words missing, time expressions, and then we are going, you are going to uh, practice the reading as you hear, okay? ¿Estamos entendidos lo que vamos a ir a hacer? Yes. Okay. Uh, sí, eh, llenar el, el párrafo. Uh -huh. Complete the paragraph with the words missing. And then you are going to practice the listening and reading at the same time, listening and reading, reading aloud, okay? There you go. You can uh, take turns to do it, all right? Let's go. Uh. Hello, Tacey.
en San Salvador, El Salvador, en 1985. She graduated from UCA. Ese, ese. El que acabamos de, de ver ahorita. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, teacher. Es este de, 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 el número cinco que vamos a hacer. Yes, I sent it through the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you can find it out over there and there is the audio for you to practice. Okay. You may play the audio and read along. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. yeah. De acuerdo. Solo sería rellenarlo, ¿verdad? Yes, complete the paragraph, the blank spaces, and then practice the reading. Please, everybody, join your groups. And remember that even if you are a listener, you may listen to your classmates practicing. Okay? Mucho volado se me voy a por los pares de ser. Voy a ir. En el primer espacio dijimos que era from. From, ajá. Two thousand five to two thousand eleven. Yes. Quiero ver. Then she worked in Molsa for seven then years. Then she worked in Molsa. Then she worked in Molsa for seven years. For seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager. Since she was a child. Uh -huh. Of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. Creo que dice for almost. Creo. To wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. For. His name was Gonzalo. He worked there until 20. Until. Twenty fifteen. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. From Monday to Saturday. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. She was not. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador. He worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. Hello, hello. Nicole was born in... Long. She has not worked there long, 
but her things. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? Es algo de gana la señora para trabajar. <risa> Vaya, hoy practicamos. Pablo, ¿verdad que iba a estar, no iba a estar disponible? Quiero ver. Ah, bueno. Hello. No, he's is a listener tonight. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's practice. Si quiere empieza de marzo. Okay. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She, she graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Malta for seven years when she was a child. She wanted to be a manager of the great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the men who was the manager were almost 15 years retired. retired. His, his name was Gonzalo and he worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She worked from Monday to Saturday and she loved her job. She was not working there long, but her team support her. Hello. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing? Hello, your... teacher. Sorry, repeat, are you, please. Are you practicing your reading? Uh, sí. Yes. Did you finish? No, todas estábamos acá, entonces yo, yo. Ya lo terminé de complementar, pero no sé si mis otras compañeras. Ok. Karen, are you there? Teacher, todo estoy de oyente. Uh, eh, Marina. Sí, 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 sí. Mm, ok. Ok. Uh, sol uh, solamente entonces tengo a Irma. Karen también creo que está de, de oyente. Irma, sí, yo creo que sí, porque no, no. ajá, vaya, Irma, eh, ahorita lo que tiene que hacer es escuchar el audio y tiene que leerlo tratando de hacer como el match, ¿verdad? De cómo escucha la pronunciación y mite, ¿verdad? Ok, sí, uh -huh. read aloud, tiene que leerlo en voz alta, a ver, yo me quedo acá para escucharla, ¿ok? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Nicole was born in Salvador, El Salvador, and tengo problema con los numbers. N numbers. Nineteen eighty-five. Ah, okay. Wow. Nine eighteen five. She graduated for UCA University. She studied them for two thousand five to two thousand eleven. Did she work in Molsa? For some years since she was a child. She was wanting to be manager. Okay. 
Ay, oh, perdón. A great uh, important company. She did not have to work much to work much to make this run comedy tea. true because the man, the man won was the manager for for almost 15 years. Retiring his name was Gonzalo. Um Worked there in 2015. Today, Nicole is. Mire que ni yo me entiendo la letra. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I, I, I wait. Don't worry. I, I, I am patient. All right. Don't okay. worry. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Voy a continuar de Nicole. <laughs> okay. Okay. Today, Nicole is. Super Successful. She worked for Monday to Saturday, and she loved her job. She had not working there, not bought it, and support her. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, my feedback to my feedback to you is that you have to open your mouth. All right. Open. Ah. Ah. Like that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yes, because the pronunciation of uh, of vowels uh, requires it. For example, if you say the numbers, you have to know that it is 19, all right? 1985, all right? Open your mouth and it's going to be easier and your brain is going to record it, all right? Okay. Very good. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay, uh, the other tip is that play the audio. Uh, meanwhile, your, your classmates finish, play the audio. Listen to the audio, and at the same time, you try to imitate what you are listening, all right? Okay. Okay. You may start now if you want, all right? I will go to check another group, okay? Thanks. Okay. Thank you. All right. Not work there towards her. Nicole was born in El Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Molza for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. He worked. Shoot, I have four. Four. Uh, retiring, yeah. his name was Gonzalo, and the worker, the hunter. Until. Two thousand fifteen. Today, Nicole is successful person. She worked from. She works from, from Monday to Saturday. He has not worked there. Uh, work there alone. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. La palabra Nicole is a. Se me olvida la pronunciación de successful. Successful. You have oh. to su successful. Su su successful. Successful. Yes. 
Okay. So successful. Okay. Successful. So, uh, tenía razón, Jose. <laughs> Se bugueó. Se bugueó. <laughs> ¿Quién está bugueado? <laughs> okay. eh, ahora sí. Hoy sí estamos completos. Ya va. Teacher, we forgot the second part. Mm -hmm. After practice the conversation. Second part? Yeah, uh, or jo, we just have to practice this. At this moment, uh, no, you have just to listen to and read, only that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to match your pronunciation with the pronunciation that you are listening, okay? Okay, okay, okay. 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 Mm -hmm. eh, la practicamos de nuevo, José. Sí. Okay, démosle pues, démosle, empezá. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011, since she worked in Morsa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make his, this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there until 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there alone, but her team supports her. Okay. Well, yo. All right. Just please check the, uh, the word in the second line after the period. After 2011, then it's a different word, okay? It's not since... After 2011, after, no, no, yeah. the first one, the first one, this one. This. No, no, go back, go back. This? Go back, go back, 2011, where is? Atras, two? atras. Yeah, there, uh, where it says since she worked, is not since. Here. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a different word, okay? And the other that is she then. 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 then she worked in Mexico for seven years. Then she wanted to be a manager of a quite important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true. Any observation, did you? Oh, yes. The, um, the pronunciation is good. Uh, uh, from Jose. Jose, your pronunciation is good. Um, you just have to open just a little more your mouth. I think it's going to be helpful, even though you have a very good pronunciation, Jose. Okay. 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 And look, the last word that you wrote there, it says alone. Mm, that's not the word. Pay attention what the word is. Okay. Okay. Repitamos el audio, Jose. She has not worked there alone, but her team supports her. Oui. <laughs> okay, the was born in Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated from Uca University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Okay, I'm going to watch another group, okay? So yeah, continue okay. working. Continue. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.
Okay, everybody. Hmm. We are going to uh, introduce the class also, <laughs> even though I didn't introduce it. Uh, this is the first uh, slide, all right, to see what they, what we are, okay. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito nada más de cómo iniciamos la clase para todos los que se acaban de integrar. Hemos estado en el breakout room, ¿ok? En el breakout room hicimos una práctica de listening. Envié el audio por el WhatsApp, envié el, eh, la porción que íbamos a leer, ¿ok? Y la idea era que ustedes completaran el párrafo con las palabras que faltaban y luego eh, escuchar el audio y tratar de imitar la misma pronunciación. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer ya acá, vamos a tratar de imitar la velocidad, the speed, all right? Allow me to go right here and... Um, Mm, one second. Okay, from the current slide. So here we are. This is your video conference number five, remember? And unit one is review and practice. Our objective is that we are doing all this practice because you are going to write a paragraph, okay? Uh, our agenda is the feedback, okay? The listening activity. Then we are going to have some conversation time. We are going to go back to the break rooms to finish. And then we have some written and reading exercises. The session one-on-one -on -one for today is Daisy's turn, okay? Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez, it's your turn to stay after the class 10 minutes, okay? The 10 extra minutes. And then uh, this is the paragraph. This is the paragraph. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm going to ask. Um, Miss Sandra, Sandra Leticia, what is the word that goes here? ¿Qué palabra falta acá en la primera? Give me the first word. Mm -hmm. No podía desactivar el micrófono. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, en la primera, from. Okay. Let's... Nicole mm -hmm. was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then Very she good. worked in Molza mm -hmm. for seven years. Just one second. Since she was a child, she wanted to be hey. manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much. Okay, here we go. So now, please, Jose Gerardo, what's the next word? Oh, he's just a listener. I'm sorry, Jose, don't worry. You are driving, I remember. Imelda Xiomara, what's the next word? That goes here. Eh, sería tú. Mm -hmm. Two, there you go. Mm -hmm. What is the next word, Emerson? word is for the next word is then Sorry, then uh -huh. what about the next word who wants to say what's the next word for right four. there you go what about the next one things Yes. And what about this one? Four. There you go. And before 2015? Uh, Until. Until. Until, yes. What's the next word? From. There you go. What about the next one? Two. 
Mm -hmm. And what is this word? Alone. Are you sure? Uh, does anybody hear a different town? A different word? Long. Long. Can you spell it, please? L-O-N-G. There you go. Okay. Yes. That is the correct word over there. Oh. Long means un tiempo, ¿verdad? Largo. Un tiempo largo. Entonces dice, she has not worked there long. No ha trabajado mucho tiempo ahí. Okay. But her, ten, but her team supports her. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is that you are going to take turns. Okay. Vamos a decir el nombre de alguien. A ver, pero no, mejor no. Mejor voluntario. El que quiera practicar ahorita velocidad. Ok, speed. Yo voy a Me poner el audio. Ok, Mauricio, voy a poner el audio y usted tiene que leer tal como a la velocidad que va ese audio. Ok. Ok, okay let's start. Uh, one, two, and three. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from for Yucca. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, there was no, uh, uh, she worked I'm sorry. For I didn't play the sharing of the okay. audio. Just give me one second. I will do it again. I'm sorry. Technical issues, guys, technical issues. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, one, two, and three. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what's going on with this. No se quiere quedar quieto. Okay, there we go. Nicole was born, Nicole in, was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated she from Yucca University. She studied there, she studied from there 2005 for 2011. 2000. Then she then worked she Mosa for seven years. Seven years. Since, Since she was a child, child. she wanted to be a manager of a great, great, and great, and great company. company. She did not important have company. to wait much, to make, the dream, come to come to wait much to make this dream come true. <laughs> His name was Go, Bartolo. go, go, continue, continue. Okay. Until 2015. The man, the man who was Today, a manager for almost 16 years to retire. She works from His name London was Gonzalo and she who worked until she has not worked there 2015. The day Nicole asked to her fourth person. She worked right. from the Monday. From Monday to Saturday. Okay, okay. Mauricio. Bye, miren, ya tuvimos a Mauricio el Valiente que fue primero, ¿verdad? Ahora. Excelente desempeño, Mauricio. Vale, ahora lo que vamos a hacer es que el que va a ir pasando, eh, solamente vamos a, a dar oportunidad a tres personas, ¿ok? El que vaya pasando, aunque se quedó, sáltese a donde va el audio, ¿ok? La idea es agarrar la velocidad de el audio. Vamos a ir mejorando pronunciation and uh, they speed okay this is a normal speed es una velocidad normal okay so vamos a ver quién quiere participar ahora to me but me. say your name okay i want to see you ready okay dario there we go one two and three Nicole was born Nicole in, San Salvador, was born in San, Salvador, San Salvador, El Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from, from UCA University. She studied there, she studied from, there from 2005 to 2011. To 2011. Then, then she worked in she Bolsa, worked in Bolsa for, for seven years. years. Since she was, she was a child, a child. she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have she to wait for to make because the, the dream man who was true. manager for almost 15 years. Almost 15 years right His, His name was Gonzalo. He worked and there he until worked there until the middle. Today, Today Nicole is a successful, is a person. successful person. She works, she works from, from Monday, Monday to, Saturday, to Saturday and she loves her and job. She, loves her job. she has not worked has there, not long, worked there but long, but the team supports her. Very good. Very good. You did a good job, Dario. All right. A ver, who wants to go next? Me, teacher. Okay, let's play, let's play. One, two, and three. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. 
She Five. graduated Five. from Five. Ukraine Five. University. Five. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Monza for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. He worked there until 2015. <laughs> Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works, she works from, from Monday to Saturday, to Saturday and she, she loves, loves her job. She, she has not worked there job. long, she but her team supports her. Their long back her hand for him. The monitor. All right. Yeah, but we did a, a speed exercise. All right. Now, um, I will stop sharing. Okay. I will stop sharing. So we did. Two only, right? A ver, ¿quién quiere ser el último? Vamos a ver. Me. Wants yo. to be the last one. All right. A ver, ahora eh, el ejercicio le cambia a usted. ¿Lo tiene a la vista? ¿Sí? No, no, no. ¿No lo está viendo? Ok. No. <laughs> bueno, le íbamos a hacer un cambio, but it's ok. No problem, no problem. Ajá. Uh -huh. We are going to share the screen again. All right. And here we go. Y si en dado caso no escuchamos la voz, teacher, usted nos va a decir alto. Eh, si no escuchan la voz de? Del de audio. Eh, no, no lo está oyendo. No, como no, o sea, por nuestra voz de como vamos leyendo algo fuerte. Ah, entonces Ajá. ahí usted, usted regula el volumen <ríe> suyo. <ríe> Ajá, sí, va, va. La idea es que avancemos un poquito en la velocidad, ¿verdad? Porque okay. estamos acostumbrados solo a leer a lo que el tiempo da y todo eso y no le damos entonación, no le damos la velocidad normal, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita ya vamos a ir viendo que sí necesitamos darle entonación y velocidad. Vaya, vale, vamos a ver entonces. <risa> ahorita le vamos a poner por acá. En... Ahí se no se queda quieto. Ok, here we go. One. Two and oh, again and three. No, no se escucha. Did I? Okay, let's go back. But it says shirt sound. Ya le estoy compartiendo ahí el sonido. Vamos a ver ahora. Y ahora se escucha? Seven years since she was. Sí, okay. ahora sí. Okay. Nicole was born in Nicole Salvador. Was born in Salvador. Okay, Salvador. lo vamos a poner okay. todo desde el principio <laughs> para que vaya. Ew, very good. You started really well. All right. So let's go back. One, two, and three. Nicole was born Nicole in was Salvador, born Salvador, Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Ukraine University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Ukraine for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She, does, she did not have to wait much to make this dream. She was a manager for over 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo. His name was he Gonzalo worked and he worked at Tel Amti to Dunsing and fighting. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from person. Monday she to works Saturday from Monday and she loves her job. Saturday. She has and not she worked there her long, job. but her she team has not worked in her job, but the hair team support here. All right, all right. Uh -huh. Vaya, ¿ya habían hecho alguna, algún ejercicio así antes? No. No, les recomiendo no, no. que sigan. Haciéndolo. Les recomiendo que sigan haciéndolo. Escuchen e imiten. Imiten cómo lo escuchan. Ok, hay que imitar lo que estamos escuchando. Ok, vaya. Esto es que les he puesto ahorita el, eh, el papelito, ¿verdad? La copia ahí enfrente. Pero, ¿qué tal si cerráramos los ojos? If we close our eyes and try to say what she's saying. Right? That's a different exercise and it's very, very enriching too. Okay, then. Well, guys, we are going to continue and we're going to change the activity now. Okay? We have a, another reading to do. I think it's going to be important for us to practice our 
own way of writing, okay? And in our manuals, we have in the next page, and the next page, okay? Mm. We have a reading, okay? We have a reading. It will be on page 17 if I'm not wrong. Okay, uh, but there is this situation. The idea of practicing this is that you are going to gather your own information and you are going to write a paragraph about your own work experience, okay? Uh, I think we are going to change the order now and we are going to try to write it down, okay? Vamos a tratar de escribir un párrafo. We are going to try to write a paragraph of five sentences, okay? Five sentences, just like the one we practiced now about your work experience. Maybe you can tell us about your experience when you uh, got the job that you have, okay? Then you can tell us about your work experience. Remember, you can also talk about your qualifications using I can, I can't, or you can use it will be and I could be, okay? If you are looking for some something else, all right? A ver, tomemos ahorita dos minutitos and let's think. A ver, pongamos en orden las ideas ahorita acerca de su experiencia de trabajo. Okay, experiencia laboral. A ver, everybody please, thinking about yourselves. Probablemente pueden contar la experiencia de cuando obtuvieron el trabajo que ahora tienen, okay? Okay, I wrote some questions you may answer to write your paragraph. Remember, at least five sentences. If you answer these questions, then you have your paragraph, okay? Ahí en el chat lo encuentran, las preguntas, ¿ok?
Okay, people, how's it going? A ver, denme un ejemplo de lo que están haciendo. Give me an example of what you are, you are doing. Jose Bernardo, how's it going? Hello, teacher. Audio, oh, teacher. El audio. Sorry. Okay. okay, thank you, Mauricio. <laughs> okay. I just have, uh, my name is Jose Bernardo. I was born in 1988 in Santa Ana, El Salvador. I work in Implementos Agricolas Centro Americanos in Macasa. Um, I'm a quality inspector there. I am in charge of checking the forging area. I worked there since 2009. I just have that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Uh, the last, I don't know if you say, I've worked. I've worked. I have I, worked. I have worked. Oh, yes. There, there you go. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Mm -hmm. So continue. Continue, Jose. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Wendy Maricela. Ajá, ajá. Haciendo lo estoy, tiche. <laughs> lo que lleva, lo que lleva. Ajá. Es que no lo he puesto en inglés. Oh, come on. No uh -huh. way. All right. Ya All se right. lo paso. All right, continue, continue. Uh -huh. Let's look at Claudia. Do you want to share your work experience? Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I work at Rico in Nuevo Cuscatlán. I worked there since 2021. I work as an architect in Brico. Um, my work schedule is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but sometimes I go later. Only that. Okay, very good, very good. You may continue if you want. You can add some more. You are creative. I know, Claudia, that you can do it. All right, continue, continue, no problem. Imelda, can you share something about yourself and your work experience?
Este, no lleva cómo despegar y lo estoy medio haciendo. All right, all right. Este, let's, uh, let's listen to you. A ver, a ver, dele, dele, dele. <laughs> eh, my name is eh, Xiomara Pineda. I live in San Vicente. Eh, my work, no, es, I work in financial. Eh, I am analyst operation. Hasta ahí lo he dicho. All right, very good, very good. Uh -huh. So uh, it says fin finances, finances, like this. Finances. It's not financial. Yeah, it, I work Finan in finances, finances. Finances, right? Finances. Yeah, finances. Mm -hmm. Finances. Yes. All right, Nelly. Yeah. Please tell us about yourself and about your work experience. Where did you study? When did you study? What did you study? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I was born on January 7 in Santa Rosa, Lima City. I work in Asinolo's office. And I'm an architect. Um, Asinolo's is a local government association. This year I will ready in the marketing international at UES and um, I'm doing a diploma in consulting for big enterprises and I'm doing an, another course in industrial development through local resources for tourism promotion with JICA and I also have English and French classes. It's Everything. Nice. Como diría Mauricio? Hired. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great, Nelly. And you have a very good resume. Okay. You have a very good, strong resume. Nice. That's good. That's good. All right. Who wants to share? Who wants to share? A ver, les doy el chance de que alguien diga yo. Yo, I teacher. Solo... Ah, yeah, please, please, Wendy. Come on, come on. Ya lo hice. All right, all right. I company eh, McCormick. I go like that I do every day. I be able to perform. I am sales promo promotion. Is the mobile and event area Aria at McCormy in Central America. No sé si me di entender. Yeah, I understood. I understood. It could be better the pronunciation in some and the structure in some others, but I think I understood. I understood, right? Um, <laughs> what you may do, Wendy, what you may do is that you may follow the order that I sent in the questions on the chat, and it's going to be better, okay? Okay. Siga así Thank el you. orden, ajá, para que le salga así un poquito mejor, ¿verdad? Pero okay. sí se le entendió. Okay. okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anyone who wants to share? Emerson wants to share, right? I know Emerson. <laughs> Hi, please share and tell us about your, yourself and a little about your work experience. Hello, my name is Amazon Calix. I am born in uh, August 12 of 1988. I am born in Santa Ana, El Salvador. Uh, and I work in actually currently in Implementos Agricola Centro American. Uh, I am charged of the test performance of the product for exportation. And, and um, I was sent this uh, the November. I applied the, this work at November 20, uh, 2016. 2016, I all right. Begin, I begin with the English course from 2021. For a 
flyer New York in, from in Canada. Um, only. Okay, remember that we are using the past tense, right? So you, you can say I began or I started the English courses on the 2021, right? Mm -hmm. In, in, in 2021. This is what I was going to, yeah, all right, Emerson. When we say I was born, estoy diciendo yo nací, okay? I was born, si decimos solo el año, we are going to say I was born in, then we say the year. For example, in 1985. But if I say the date, then I'm going to say I was born on July the 15th, right? July 15th of 1990, okay? Very young. Okay, I was born on July 15th of uh, 1990. Eh, si se fijan es on, on July 15th. Why? Because it's a complete date. Now, when we say only the year, we say in. When we say only the month, for example, what, I'm, I'm sorry, if I ask, what month were you born? Uh, then I say, I was born in May. Okay, I use in or in December, in January, in February, whatever, right? Whatever, whatever is the month. Now, if you say, for example, only the date, like I was born on, on May the 10th, right? May 10th, okay? I say on, on, I don't say in. I say on. So we've got to be careful with that. Okay. We have to be careful with the prepositions of time. On, in, on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Is there any question? T tell me, Emerson. All right. Is there any question so far about what we uh, have been doing here? Alguna pregunta? Is there any question? Are we okay? No, no it's okay. All right. All right. Now, let's continue and let's go to a reading. Ah, perdón. La última cosa que ustedes van a hacer es, van a grabar lo que acaban de decir, ¿ok? Lo van a grabar y lo van a subir ahí en el WhatsApp y los vamos a escuchar el lunes, ¿ok? We are going to listen to you on Monday, all right? No es lo mismo que lo leamos acá en vivo, live, ¿ok? No es lo mismo que esté grabadito, ya así como más estudiadito, ¿sí? Entonces ustedes van a grabar un párrafo como el que acabamos de hacer. Si quieren mejorarlo, lo pueden mejorar. Y este es como un cover, ¿verdad? Como un cover letter, como una, un, una, in, una presentación personal y profesional, ¿verdad? Entonces ustedes van a, pueden guiarse por esas preguntas, si no han contestado alguna, pueden agregar ese dato, pero que se oiga bien bonito, no más de minuto y medio, ¿ok? No más de minuto y medio, es mucho todavía un minuto y medio, ¿sí? Rapidito diciendo, lo que, uh, telling something about yourself and also your work experience, ¿ok? Right, ahora sí, continuemos con la otra actividad. All right, the next activity is that we want to read the next part. The next part is a very long reading, okay? Las palabras que no conozcan en esta lectura on page 17, las vamos a buscar en el diccionario, okay? We are going to look up these words that you don't know, okay? So we're going to start, uh, allow me to share this reading on page 17. This is an article. It's taken from the um, internet. So we are going to read it, okay? And if you don't know any word, then you look it up, all right? Okay, here we go. I will read it only once, 
I will read it only once and then you are going to read it, all right? Be a people person. This is an article, just give me one second. This is an article of five requirements of the perfect manager, okay? Five requirements of the perfect manager. The first requirement of, uh, of the perfect manager is be a people person. Not sad, it's people and we are looking for managers who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and, now, and know how to motivate your team. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a good fit for our managerial team. Number two, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and their team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Number three, be technically proficient. The products we create are not odd, are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C. In a, this is the sustainability, right? As, uh, Do sostenido, right? But you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success and know having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as a technically proficient in Linux. Okay, there we go. Encourage teamwork, number four. Teamwork is important at NARC's odd. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at NARC's, NARC's odd for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Number five, lead by example. Lead by example. The best managers lead by example at Narc's Odd. All managers are required to dress and to dress and act professionally at all times and to be able to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by example means working late on weekends with your employees, parking with your employees, and using the same washroom, washroom as your employees. It's all about doing instead of pontificating and doing the right thing, okay? Is there any questions so far? Oops. Is there any questions so far? Mm. No, no, no. no. All right, then I'm going to say a name and you are going to read the first paragraph. All right, let's look at Sandra Leticia, please. Uh, well, Sandra, are you also a listener tonight? I'm sorry. No, it is okay. Can you please read the first paragraph? Que lea el primer párrafo. Yes, please. No, permítame un segundito. Voy a mover esto porque no alcanzo a ver bien. Okay. Okay. And... Be a people person. Uh, Norson is people and we are looking for managers 
Uh, who like people? You sure uh, be comfortable with conflict resolution? You sure know how people work and know how to motivate uh, your team? If you are better with computer, uh, ten people and understand clean well, better than English. You are not a good thief or managerial team. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, who wants to continue, guys? Me, hey, teacher. Please go, Mauricio. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good uh, communication is two-way strip. You will be required to rapidly update your employee on their and team perform your will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provide status information when asked. All right, thank you very much, Mauricio. Mm -hmm. There you go. Who wants to read the number three? Hi, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Be technical, technical proficient. The product we create are not so are technical, complicated to, don't need to be able to code. In, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies in methods for success. I know having what is, what is happy, as you said, is a happy, is feet. happy, happy feet of the, or sorry, a happy feet of the, the marsh of the, of the penguins. Penguins. Penguins does not qualify you abstaining your prophecy in Linus. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, pro no, no problem. No problem. Uh, just allow me to see what's the name because I always forget the um, the C with the uh, hashtag. That's C sharp. C sharp. Mm -hmm. So code. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, este es como, eh, esta es una, si, los que saben de computación sí saben, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es esto? Code en, ese es en, no sé cómo se llamaría este en, en la vida lenguaje real. Ajá. Es un lenguaje de programación, pero no sé si tiene un nombre. Solo entiendo que es un, un programa que decodifica, ¿verdad? O sea, es como, sí, no necesitas un programa que decodifique. Eh, o, o ne no necesitas conocer claro. ese lenguaje, ¿verdad? De computadora, me imagino. C Sharp, pero C Sharp es eh, do sostenido. Y do sostenido es eh, a musical term. Entonces, en este caso, they are talking about the computer things, ¿ok? Por eso dije yo al principio, do sostenido. Pero no, este no es el de música, este es... Eh, un lenguaje de computación, pero no sé cómo se llama. Si alguien sabe, me puede ayudar, ¿ok? C-Sharp. C-Sharp. ¿Así se llama también? 
C-sharp. Oh, ok, C-sharp. Bueno, tiene relación, ¿verdad? Entre una y la otra cosa, ¿verdad? Porque do sostenido no es fácil también, ¿verdad? No es fácil como el do natural. Bueno, vamos a ver entonces. Uh, we are on number four. Who wants to read number four? Number four? Me, teacher. All right, please, please, Claudia. Teamwork is important to not, not so. Not only are you a, not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building team working, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors and no knocks for, for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit at work with your staff. All right, thank you very much. And who wants to read number five? Wants to read. Okay, please, please. <clears throat> the best managers Take lead care. by example and nurse. All managers are required to dress and act professionally at all times and to be available to give guidance and help when needed. Leading by examples means working late and on weekends with your employees, working with your employees and using the same washroom as your employees. It's all about doing in still. Instead. Uh, uh, no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Pontificating. Pontificating uh -huh. and doing the right thing. All right, very good. It's like we are not saints, right? We are not God. <laughs> we It's are not the Pope. So we are going to be all together mixing with everybody and having a relationship with our co-workers. They are not under our... Uh, under us, but they are uh, right with us, right? Okay, then. Mm, then we have these uh, <clears throat> statements, okay? This statement. Uh, they are based on the reading. They are based on the reading. A ver, vamos a tratar de hacer una cosa, a ver si las puedo poner las dos a la par como para no estar yendo de una a otra. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ah, by the way, uh, is there any question about the reading? Is there any question so far? Did no. you look up, did you look for a word up? ¿Alguien buscó alguna palabra que no conocía y nos quiere contar? No. No. Se sabían toditas las palabras. <laughs> Good, great, 100%, guys. No, a ver, a ver, a ver, ¿cuáles no conocen de las que están ahí? Pongámosle coco, agua, lo voy a volver a compartir. ¿Y qué palabras no conocen para que las busquemos? ¿Ok? Es washroom. Importante. Washroom, ok. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿alguien busca washroom? Google it and say the definition. Uh, it's related with the place where you wash your hands and you go and clean yourself up, right? Mm -hmm. Like bathrooms or the place where you get cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿qué definición encontraron? Okay, that was washroom, right? Washroom. ¿Alguien lo encontró? A ver, ¿alguna otra palabra? Is there any other word that you don't know? No. Mm. Upper, 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 
Aquí, from yeah. upper. Upper. A ver, alguien la googlea. Do you google it? Upper. It's higher. It's more, I mean, it's higher than something, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the top management. Mm -hmm. Did you get the definition? Who googled it? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. es, es superior. Correct. Mm -hmm. Superior. Yeah. Good. Mm. Superior. All right. Mm -hmm. Is there any other word? Okay, what is proficient? Proficient. Can you Google it and tell me the definition of proficient? Proficient. Mm -hmm. Who found it? A ver quién la encontró. Uh -huh. Ey, no me dejen solita, ustedes me dejan solita si no. ¿Cuál era el teacher? Disculpe. <laughs> proficient, proficient. The definition, can you say that in English? Mr. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Proficient, mm -hmm. yes it is over there, proficient. Someone was going to say something and stopped. Uh-huh. Proficient. Someone capable, right? Someone com capable. Competent. Yes, competent. Competent. Mm -hmm. Competent. competent. Uh, someone who is able to, right? Uh, someone efficient. Yeah, someone efficient, but because he knows and he is, he's got the technical knowledge. Yeah he's going to do right uh qualified proficient is someone qualified all right um uh, someone expert okay so here it says be technically proficient be technically expert okay we can use it as i and m all right as you don't have any more questions or do you have any more questions or words that you don't know? Let's say if the statement is true or the statement is false. It is more important to manage systems than people. Mm -hmm. Is it false? Or is it true? True. Important true. to manage systems than people no. for not sod? You say true. Why do you say true? Tell me. Uh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Para mi false teacher. That's right, because in the false. first one, it says the, the first thing. It says, be a people person, not a system or a machine person, right? Yes. It will be not to this people. And we are looking for managers who like again, right? And then it says, if you are better with computers than people and understand <laughs> other languages than English or Spanish. Manager team. Good fit for our manage, managerial team. Managerial team. Mm -hmm. 
the, the first statement, false, right? Mm -hmm. First statement, false. false. Mm -hmm. That's false. Now, let's read the uh, number two. Who wants to read? Norma Patricia, please, number two. Okay. Be a communicator on two years as many people as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Is it false or is it true, guys? True, true. teacher. True? True. I think, yeah. I think it's true. True. Okay. Can you tell me why? Why do you think it is true? Let's go to the reading and let's find a paragraph where it says something related. Because when I use metal, metal the communication. Yes, because it says all methods. And here they are saying that we want to use, I mean, we need to use many tools many. as possible, right? If they are yeah. talking about tools and here they are talking about methods and it says visual presentations is a tool, right? Uh, public mm -hmm. speaking, that's another tool. Email, it's another tool. Teleconferencing, yes, it's another tool. Face and to face, face to face, yes. So good communication, it says it's two-way street. So we need to use a lot of tools as we could, right? We should use different tools. So this is true, true. right? True. Number two is true. true. Mm -hmm. Miren, no le voy a poner ahorita acá yo porque estoy subiendo y bajando, entonces se suben y bajan las palabras, ¿ok? Entonces, ah, no, este, este es otro programa. Ok, ok, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot, I forgot. I think I can do this. Oh, yes, we can do it here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Never mind, all right? And the first one was false. And the second one was true. Oh. Okay, now it's not going to move. All right. And the number three. Number three says, in order, a ver, ¿quién quiere leer la número tres? Who wants to read number three? In order to be technically proficient. Esa se dice así, mire, Mauricio, technically. Ah. Technically. technically, okay. Mm -hmm. In order to be technically proficient, giving one option is enough. Okay, one's opinion. One's opinion. La opinión one's, de uno, ¿verdad? Dando one, su opinión. One's opinion. One's opinion. Este es one's opinion. One's opinion. Ajá. Entonces, esto es como yeah. dar yeah. su opinión, ¿verdad? Es enough. Vamos a ver. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Let's go and check. Is it false or is it true? Mm -hmm. Just giving the opinion is enough? It's false. It's false, right? Why? Uh -huh. You have to provide technical guidance and also you have to be involved and the process of the best strategies and methods for success, right? And it says it's technically complicated to be proficient. Why? Because it's not only giving the, the your opinion and look for, I mean, tell the person who is asking for my guidance, tell them, go and look for the solution by yourself. My opinion is this one. And if you want to do it, it's okay. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. No, it's not like that. It's that you have to give the technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success, okay? Mm -hmm. So for ex the example here, 
the example is, for example, you have seen uh, this movie, uh, Happy Feet, for example, you are not an expert about the March of the Penguins, right? You just saw the movie, but you don't know everything. You didn't know science about penguins, all right? So it's not just knowing the thing or giving my opinion about that, but that I can do it, that I am <laughs> capable of doing it by myself as a manager. That's the idea here. So uh, let's continue and let's look at number three. In order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough. Why do you think it's false or it's right? I mean, it's true. Mm -hmm. Sería falso? Is it false or is it false. true? False. False. Yes, you have to be capable of doing the things, right? Proficient, expert. Encouraging teamwork as important as is as important as being part of the team. Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. What do you think? Is it false or is it true? True. 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 Why? True. Can you explain why? Why? Mm -hmm. Because because it's in, important encouraging teamwork. En encouraging, encouraging. 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 No, así con J, encouraging. Encouraging. Mm -hmm. Encouraging. Mm -hmm. Encouraging es animar a otros a hacer algo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Es como, sí, eh, exhortar a alguien que haga algo. Encourage, darle el valor. Hey, animarlo, ¿verdad? That's encouraging. So, what do you think? Is it encouraging teamwork as important as do teamwork? What do you think? It's false or it's true? A ver, solo animar al equipo a trabajar en equipo es tan importante como ser parte del equipo. True. It is true. Yes. True, yeah. If you're a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. False, false or true? False. Yeah, it's false. Oh, when you are a manager, you work more than the others, <laughs> right? Yeah, and you work even on weekends. So it's not so good to be a manager sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, all right. So this is false. Okay, people, this was the comprehension activity. We have already read and also we have reading. Now, we wrote the, um, the paragraph and you were going to record your paragraph, okay? You are going to record your paragraph. Okay? Entonces, ¿pueden empezar a grabar ahorita su, su audio? Vamos a tomar unos cinco minutitos para que empiecen a grabar su audio. Ustedes ahí practiquen. Ok. It's 9.50. La última actividad de la unidad era esa, ¿verdad? Era el párrafo. All right. Ahí hay un espacio donde pueden hacer ese párrafo para que lo puedan leer. Miren, ahí en el, en el uh, manual. Miren, aquí abajo aparece. Miren, acá. ¿Ve? Ah, no se lo compartí, perdón. I'm sorry. Esta, esta teacher, vaya, vamos a ver. Ahí está. Miren. This is on page 18, where we were answering these things, all right? This statement, uh, the true-false exercise. So here you can write your paragraph, all right? 
ahí en ese espacio ustedes pueden escribir su párrafo y luego pues ustedes se dedican ahí como que son broadcaster, ¿verdad? Como un locutor ahí. Ustedes. My name is the man, right? And the girls, hey, miss. So sexy voice, right? <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Ah, aprovechando de una vez, eh, ¿hay alguna situación con las tareas? Is there any situation with the uh, with homework? ¿O todo ha estado bien? Hoy tiene que quedar subido todas las tareas hasta la número 5. ¿Ok? Hasta la número 5. Tell me, tell me. Teacher, yo en la, en la segunda, me parece, uh -huh. eh, tuve problemas que dos no me la aceptó y, y, y no, no sé por qué. Por ahí les envié yo una aclaración de la, creo que era la tarea 2 que Claudia María me indicó que había uh -huh. una situación con la pregunta 4, si no me equivoco. Algo Ahorita así. estoy abriendo. Yes, teacher. Ajá. Entonces ahí había una situación de que el, en el sistema los chicos no habían consignado la palabra staff, sino que employees. Ahorita vamos a llegar ahí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En vez de happy staff, sería happy employees. Employees. Ajá. Vamos a ver, voy a compartir por acá. Ay, no lo puedo sacar para verlo. Vaya, vamos a ver. Oh, so share. And the basic. Ok, miren, acá en esta era, ¿verdad? En la número 4, number 4, it says you have to unscramble these words to make a sentence. So you have to say, um, it would be, right? No, we can self like this. Uh, we can self would be a good option option for I know two to have happy employee. Okay, vamos a enviar aunque solo para que se vea. Hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Ajá, so, lo mismo me pasó a mí. <laughs> weekends of Will be. Would be. Uh -huh, a, a good, good option. To have. To have a happy employees. Pero ni aún eh, así me lo No, sé. pero sin el A. Sin el A. Vamos a ver con el punto y le vamos a dar enviar solo para que ver. Ahí está. Era el punto. El punto. Yeah. Pero yo le tengo el punto. El que, le, el que me falta no, entonces. No, no. Es que yo creo que usted ha puesto A. Happy, porque aquí le ha puesto. Ah, sí, 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 tiene razón. Este a, porque es plural. Es plural. Exacto, aquí solo es have happy. Ajá. Hoy. Hoy sí. ¿Cuál era la otra? A ver, eh, que no le daba. Uh, teacher, aprovechando la cinco de esa misma tarea. Ajá, ajá. But what's the subject? Maria is the subject, right? Yes. Ahí comenzamos. Maria. Oh. Could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Help. Help. Mm -hmm. In, yes. In the inventory. Yes, okay. Department. Department. And remember. Okay, I see. <laughs> Maria could be of great help in the in inventory, inventory department. Inventory. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. I forgot to write the 
work department. <laughs> oh, that is why. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was, I think the only mistake in the platform today uh, um, or in this module was this one, all right? Instead of staff, it was employees. Hasta cual tarea vamos a hacer, teacher? Up to number five. Number, number five. five, yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to um, work in advance, it's okay. You can uh, work in advance and it's going to be nice. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have to go till this one. Okay. There you go. This is just a review, and let's remember can can right. I can speak two languages, Russian and English. English. I'm sorry. My sister can type fast. My sister can type fast. She's very slow. Can or can't. Mm -hmm. Can or can't? I use this and ah, it's muy lenta, so she can't, right? I have been your friend since for. Mm -hmm. It's going to be since, yes. I lived in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. Since or in? Es past tense. Miren, no es present perfect. Okay. Entonces sería. In. Yes. In. And the last one, I am working in or at. In or at. Okay. Let's try. And this is going to be correct. Va, miren, cuando nosotros decimos el nombre de la compañía, decimos at. Cuando decimos in, ¿ok? Es cuando nosotros usamos, por ejemplo, trabajo en el campo. ¿ven? O sea, en el campo me refiero el área en que yo trabajo. Por ejemplo, I, I am working in human resources. No soy específica con el nombre de la compañía, ¿verdad? O el nombre de un lugar. Por ejemplo, I work at Santa Ana. ¿Ok? I work at, entonces el nombre del lugar sí requiere at. Y el nombre de la compañía requiere at, not in, ¿ok? Bien. ¿Hay alguna pregunta? Is there any question? ¿Alguien tiene alguna otra pregunta de las tareas o de algo más? ¿No? No. Ok, then. Allow me to call the roll. And please, everybody turn your camera on. They have to see your beautiful face, all right? So please, everybody turn your camera on and say present when I call your name. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. I remember she was there. Eh, Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present, teacher. Stacy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Good night. Okay, have a very good night and a very good weekend too. Jose Alexander mm -hmm. Hernandez Carvajal. Present. Okay, Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Okay, Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. I don't remember if it was. In Karen Janet Granado Sorellana, present Luis Javier Castillo, Mr. Castillo, please say present. Thank you. And Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna, Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez, present teacher. 
Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Present teacher. Norma, uh, perdón, ok, Norma, gracias. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. I know he was a listener tonight, but all right. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Ok. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Ok. Entonces ahora se queda conmigo Daisy, ¿verdad? Daisy, do you want to stay? No me respondió al principio, ¿verdad? Daisy, eh, ya no está conectada, ¿verdad? I don't think so. No, she's not in. Is there anyone who wants to stay in this uh, 10 extra minutes? ¿Alguien quisiera quedarse? Solo uno. Vamos a comer quesadita con café <laughs> y chocolate si quiere, ¿verdad? También hay. <laughs> Ah, por ahí hay unos pisques también con salsa. <risa> no se si quieren que... No, hombre, no sean así. Ok, solo uno, solo uno. Ajá, ¿no? Ah, como es viernes, vea. Ajá, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. Ya tienen lista la serie que van a ir a ver, ¿verdad? Ajá, ya se quedaron a media, nomás llegaron, vea. <risa> bueno. Como lo supo. <laughs> um, <laughs> like this, right? <laughs> okay, people. It was a pleasure. And remember to do your homework. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know through the WhatsApp group. And also, if you want to share something, any material who could be um, helpful for your uh, classmates, please share it through the WhatsApp, okay? And see you Monday, please, at 8 p.m., everybody. Punctual, all right? Have, ah, your, your recording, remember, your recording, okay? No se les olvide su grabación, okay? Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Bye, bye, see you bye. next Monday. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you next Monday. Bye. bye. Take care. You too. Bueno, ni modo, bye, yo teacher. solita me como la quesadilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>